Have you ever wondered about the possibility of transmitting electric power through a wireless medium other than the conventional cable-based transmission? If you have, then I must tell you that there is a possibility of achieving such tasks. In this video, I will present to you how such power transmission is easily achieved. My name is Magnus and I will be your host in this video. Nikola Tesla from 1891 to 1898 performed experiments with the transmission of electrical energy using a radio frequency resonant. Through the outcome of his experiment, many scientists built upon the information he presented. For the scope of this video, I will focus more on a simple design that replicates the process took by Tesla himself. More videos we publish on this subject and more. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, do so in order to get updates on all our follow-ups. Back to the project. When you take a piece of enamel wire and wrap it like this, you have simply created an inductor. Inductors are electric devices that stores electric charge in the form of a magnetic field. This simply means once an electric current passes through an inductor, a magnetic field is created relative to the applied voltage. Here, we power the inductor with a 12 voltage supply and the iron rod gets magnetized and attracts the piece of nails. As we saw from the demonstration here, the metal rod which turns as an electromagnet as electricity is supplied was able to attract the piece of nails and this proves the presence of magnetic field. Now, in this new setup, we connected the inductor in this configuration and once we provide a momentary voltage to the coil, the inductor build up a magnetic field as the voltage increases. As you can see, we are using 3.7 lithium battery as the input and the output voltage is ever increasing and this is simply the way boost converter circuits are developed more about that in the future project now we want to convert this magnetic field back to electrical field and this is exactly why we will introduce another inductor called the receiver inductor we will now develop a simple oscillator circuit for the transmitter coil since alternating current can only create an alternating magnetic field while direct current can create only static magnetic field. We are using 5.5 timer in a stable mode as our oscillator and we made the setup on the breadboard. Remember, you will need to connect a capacitor to the receiver coil in order to create a resonant frequency to the transmitter coil. At this point of testing, the voltage generated by the receiver coil was so little and as such, we increased the number of turns on both the transmitter and the receiver coil. With what I have now, I was able to capture some energy wirelessly. The current drawn from the circuit was huge and as such, I will have to solder all the parts together. I started off by assembling all the components. I drill through to switch the heat sink on the board. Next, I started soldering all the components. After soldering, I made a test run using the ultimate power supply which I also developed. You can also find the video on the development of the ultimate power supply on our channel as well. From the oscilloscope, you can see the changes in the pulse generated as I adjust the potentiometer.
Next, I coupled the whole setup and the result when tested was amazing. I know that there are a lot of limitations to this design as I specifically made a design for a friend who asked me to develop the project using a pulse signal which I got from the 55 timer I see. In the follow up video on this subject, I will generate a sine wave signal for the transmitter circuit which I will have a resonant frequency to the receiver circuit. Then I will measure the efficiency of the design onto what I already have in this particular design. I will leave the schematic diagram for those that would want to build upon this project, the link you will find on the video description. Remember to leave a feedback on the possible way I could modify the project, I will check that out on the comment section below. More on our project you will find on our Facebook page and I will also drop the link as well for you to join our community. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next project, do have a blissful day.